The UK Royal Navy officially commissioned its latest Astute-class nuclear-powered attack submarine and began construction of its final Dreadnought-class ballistic missile submarine. The ceremonies were held at BAE Systems Barrow and Furnace Shipyard in England and attended by around 500 guests, including King Charles III and Defence Secretary John Healy, alongside military leaders, politicians, and other dignitaries. His Majesty King Charles formally welcomed the Royal Navy's newest nuclear-powered attack submarine, HMS Agamemnon, into service during a commissioning ceremony at BAE Systems Yard in Barrow and Furnace. The milestone event marked the sixth Astute-class submarine to join the fleet. The King, departing from naval tradition, personally read the commissioning warrant, declaring the vessel ready for operations. Agamemnon's introduction comes as the Royal Navy continues to balance its role in maintaining the continuous at sea deterrent and meeting global security demands in an increasingly complex threat environment. The astute class submarines are among the most advanced in the world, combining stealth technology, endurance, and firepower. HMS Agamemnon represents the latest step in a program that began with HMS Astute's commissioning in 2010. For the Royal Navy, Agamemnon strengthens its ability to operate unseen, project power, and maintain a decisive undersea advantage in the face of evolving threats. Once she sails from Barrow, Agamemnon will be based at HM Naval Base Clyde in Scotland, joining her five sister boats already in service. The submarine will serve as both shield and sword of the fleet, defending carrier strike groups, the UK's nuclear deterrent, and critical undersea infrastructure. Armed with advanced sensors, spearfish torpedoes, and Tomahawk cruise missiles, the vessel has the ability to strike land targets up to 1,000 miles away. The astute submarine, named HMS Agamemnon after a mythical Greek king, is the sixth of seven in the class to enter service. It will complete final testing and commissioning before departing Barrow for sea trials. Meanwhile, HMS King George VI, named after King Charles' grandfather, will be part of a fleet set to replace the Vanguard-class boats that deliver Operation Relentless, the Royal Navy's continuous at-sea deterrent mission, which has been maintained without interruption since 1969. His Majesty read the astute-class submarine's commissioning warrant, formally declaring the system ready to join the fleet. Typically performed by the fleet commander, the act underlined the importance of the occasion. The defense chief cut the first steel to mark the start of construction on the Dreadnought-class platform earlier in the day. Cutting steel on the fourth Dreadnought submarine demonstrates the significant progress we've made on the program, whilst the sixth astute class boat, HMS Agamemnon, joins the long and distinguished list of barrow-built vessels to be commissioned into the Royal Navy, the ceremony, attended by some 500 guests including senior political leaders, military officials, and family members followed a blessing by the chaplain of the fleet, Rev. Dr. Mark Davidson, and remarks from Commander David Bing Crosby, Agamemnon's commanding officer. The UK's astute-class submarine is built to replace the Trafalgar class introduced in the 1980s. It is 97 meters 318 feet long, with a beam of 11 meters 36 feet and a draft of 10 meters 32 feet. Propulsion comes from a Rolls-Royce PWR2 nuclear reactor with MTU diesel generators, providing unlimited range and up to 90 days at sea, limited only by food and crew endurance. The submarine can dive beyond 300 meters 980 feet and reach 30 knots 56 kilometers 35 miles per hour while submerged. It carries 98 crew members, with space for up to 109. Armament includes six 533mm torpedo tubes holding up to 38 weapons, including Tomahawk Block 4 cruise missiles and Spearfish heavyweight torpedoes. HMS Agamemnon, joins the long and distinguished list of barrow-built vessels to be commissioned into the Royal Navy. Commander Crosby, now commanding his fourth astute-class submarine, said the commissioning reflected years of effort across government, industry, and naval personnel. The National Endeavour industry, sailors and submariners, contractors, civil servants, naval architects, engineers, technicians, computer and systems engineers behind the boat had created a machine which stands at the forefront of modern submarine warfare in the most unforgiving of all battle spaces. Guest of Honor Lady Sarah Jane Sedwill, sponsor of the submarine, praised the workforce and crew, saying the boat would provide silent security to defend our nation, allies and interests for many decades to come. She also highlighted the dedication of the sailors and their families, describing them as central to the vessel's success. First Sea Lord General Sir Gwyn Jenkins emphasized the boat's strategic role. 
the commissioning of the 6th Astute Class Submarine, HMS Agamemnon, and the steel cut for the 4th Dreadnought Class Submarine, HMS King George VI, mark significant milestones in the Royal Navy's enduring commitment to safeguarding our nation, he said. He added that the submarine fleet remains respected by allies, feared by enemies and the pride of our island nation. Agamemnon's introduction comes as the Royal Navy continues to balance its role in maintaining the continuous at sea deterrent and meeting global security demands in an increasingly complex threat environment. Charles Woodburn, chief executive of BAE Systems, called the project a testament to British industrial and naval cooperation, while Defense Secretary John Healy and other senior leaders also delivered remarks highlighting the submarine's contribution to national defense. Steve Timms, managing director of BAE Systems Submarines Business, which oversees both the Astute and Dreadnought programs, said the milestones reflected both progress and tradition at the Barrow Shipyard. Cutting steel on the 4th Dreadnought submarine demonstrates the significant progress we've made on the program, whilst the 6th Astute class boat, HMS Agamemnon, joins the long and distinguished list of Barrow-built vessels to be commissioned into the Royal Navy, Timms stated. The Dreadnought-class submarine is the largest ever designed for the Royal Navy. It measures 154 meters 505 feet, accommodates up to 130 personnel, and is powered by the Rolls-Royce pressurized water reactor 3, two geared steam turbines, and a propeller shaft. The vessel has a top speed of 20 knots 37 kilometers 23 miles per hour on the surface and 28 knots 52 kilometers 32 miles per hour underwater. Similar to the Astute, the Dreadnought's range is effectively unlimited, constrained only by food and crew endurance. The Dreadnought carries Spearfish 533mm heavyweight torpedoes and Lockheed Martin UGM-133A Triton II ballistic missiles, 